All good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Hi. Hello. Hey there. <laughs> I'm Sierra. I'm John. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm Sierra. I'm from San Diego originally. I don't know how to start these things. In January, I took a road trip out to Arizona and loved it. And I was just by myself. And I was like, you know what? I want to, I want to do this like long term. Like, oh, like I want this to be my life. So my lease was ending in May and I just committed to just, to just doing it. So now I'm road tripping around the Western US. Um, and I hit up my good friend, John. Yeah. This guy right here. She um, dragged me out here. I was in New York way back when. Before then, COVID. Before COVID, and then I spent a year at home in Georgia, where I'm from. In Georgia. Yes. And yeah, and then I just had to get out. It's summer, you know, things are opening up, and Sierra hit me up. We were supposed to go to Austin in January. We, yeah. yeah. We were supposed to go to Austin back in January. It's going to happen. COVID's going down. And as we all know, it, things were not, not great. In, in January, yeah, like it was really not a good time. Um, so I got canceled. So I texted him and was like, "Road trip this summer? You're living with your parents. I'm living in San Diego. Not about to have a lease. Yep. Let's make it happen." And both well, working remote, so we have the luxury of that super privilege. Take care of it, so that won't last forever. At least not for me, maybe. But you know, as a wise man once said, "You only live once." <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. So I was there and. Georgia's just buying a bunch of outdoor equipment because I like being outdoors, but I'm not a big backpacker or anything, so yeah. Got me into it. And to preface, like I did not grow up outdoorsy. I didn't go camping growing up. Like that was not my family. We didn't go hiking. Um, and then I went on my first like actual hike the summer after I graduated from college, and it was like cool. And then I was going to Peru and I just committed to doing like a five day trek. And it was really freaking hard. And I actually kind of hated it after that experience because it was cold, it was hard, I didn't know what I got myself into. Um, but after going out to Arizona and like um, Utah, the Grand Canyon, Bryce, Zion back in January, I, I fell in love with it. There was something nice about being able to get out after COVID and just yeah. be able to explore and feel a sense of wonder and excitement <laughs> after feeling nothing but depression, you know? Not, really nothing but depression, wow. if I'm being completely honest <laughs> exactly. here. Yeah, yeah so it, it was really good. It got me out of a rut, and that's when I kind of went all in. I started buying things. I went backpacking um, yeah. in Yosemite for the first time with my old roommate back in November, and that kind of gave me a taste of it. Um, but at the beginning of the year, I was like, I have money. I can buy an Xbox or my camping equipment. <laughs> Which ones are going to make me happier in the long term? So I bought camping equipment, and now we're on this journey. Oh, you made the right choice. We'll see. Yeah, we'll, see. we'll see. We'll see. It's working out well so far. So what's it been like as someone who like didn't camp and like wasn't backpacking? Like here you are going on this venture committing to like backpacking and camping for like three months. Like how yeah. do you get started? What were you thinking? Um, I was just thinking, you know, I'm all about trying new things in life. You know, we're young. I'm 24. So I feel like now's a good time to just, you know, try new stuff. I have the means to do so. So might as well. Might as well do it. Um, and I like being outdoors, who doesn't love that? So. Yeah. So, how did you go about, like, getting what you needed, like, figuring out what needed to happen to get you from, okay, I'm in Georgia, I don't really do this, to yeah. I'm now in, on the West Coast, Doing I'm, so, I'm ready to do this. Um, I mean, I've done a bit of it before with friends, but nothing where I, like, have my own gear, just random stuff. I essentially just did research. I mean, the internet's great, right? Mm -hmm. Just... <laughs> Look stuff up so it's it wasn't too complicated and you know it's good there's like a bit of an entry fee if you will there's like you you need to have but you know once you just read spend a bit of time figuring out then you know you feel like you've done it all your life we'll really see is that true <laughs> have you no. not gone camping or backpacking in like over a year is that no. true yeah i mean in my head i'm imagining it'll be like this great experience but i'm sure there'll be like things i won't like and my back will hurt and this and that but you know what Part of the deal so and i think that's kind of why like i wanted to start youtube like i'm by no means an expert like yeah. i'll make sure we don't die like i can definitely do that but like i don't 100 percent know what i'm doing i know just enough and i think getting started there were so many questions i had like i didn't know the difference between camping or backpack i didn't know yeah. backpacking existed and like you know how do you start a fire what do you eat like how does all like what do you need to get yeah. started and i think if i had just had something guiding me or some kind of resource to use like oh 
I didn't even think about, you know, a sleeping pad. I didn't know that was a thing people use. Like, <laughs> I feel like that would have been super helpful for me. Yeah, well, I mean, you're helping me out now because, like, without her motivation or just, like, the opportunity to do it with someone who knows more than you, um, it's it would have been, like, I wouldn't probably have done this by myself. It, I don't know, it just probably wouldn't have happened because it's, like, without that help it's just something that's out there that's like oh i could do it but it's a lot of work and a lot i would have to learn so now it's mm -hmm. the learning curve is a bit easier only slightly easier only slightly. But he, he didn't know that when he before he fully committed to it i was like yeah we can go camping fun. but one thing that like i think i didn't realize is like it's kind of expensive to get into this like oh, yeah. initial stuff like to get all the supplies you need like yeah. tents a couple hundred bucks backpacks like 300 bucks good hiking boots, a couple hundred bucks. Like, yep. you know, there's this idea that like, oh, nature of the outdoors, like it's the free thing you can do. Like you don't need to spend money to do it. But in order to do the camping, to backpack, to, to have the equipment you need, like there is an initial like very expensive yeah. in my mind, entry level, I guess. Uh -huh. I mean, uh, there's gotta be somewhere you can rent. I mean, it can't just be by, I mean, eventually once you do long enough, you're gonna wanna have your own stuff, so. Yeah, but I think that's one thing I realized, like, you know, if I'm being super honest, I dropped like 11, 1200 bucks on all my camping gear yeah. in the last few months. And like, it's dumb, but also like the gear lasts you. Yeah. Maybe not a full lifetime, but like decades. And so that's like, what I think is like, I hope I get my worth out of it by doing this more often. I mean, obviously I'm going to enjoy it now, but yeah, long -term, do as well. long term as well. That's just a one time thing. Yeah. And I think there's just like this, this bigger like piece where like, I don't know, when you think of granola, like what do you think of? <laughs> Um, outdoorsy, I don't know. Outdoorsy. I, I, like, I personally tend to think of, like, a white person. Oh, yeah. Who's pretty, like, granola. Like, at least in the sense that I've heard it, like, at Stanford in the Bay Area. And I think there is just, like, this kind of, like, lack of representation, I think, in the kinds of bodies and people who tend to be outdoorsy. Like, I don't know. That's just something, like, at least in the media that I've been exposed to, like, I haven't seen a lot of people from like super diverse backgrounds getting into the outdoors. Like when you think of the guy, the hippie guy living in the back of his car, hmm. living in national parks, like I tend to think of a long haired white guy, honestly, yeah. um, who likes to like boulder and stuff. But like, maybe that's just my own biases playing in. But I, I do feel like there's, I don't know, like not a ton of like diverse perspectives being shown, especially for those who didn't like grow up doing these things. Yeah, it wasn't some like my parents just didn't, didn't. I mean, they like going outside, but they weren't ever once to go camping. So it's like it was just wasn't ever something that was like top of mind to do. Um, but I mean, it's just one of those things. Like now that I'm lucky enough to be able to do it, I want to break out of the initial kind of hump to do it. Um, and, and I feel very lucky to do it. You know, it's a, it's very much a privilege. But um, you yeah, know, gotta take advantage of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy we're doing this. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be fun. Yeah, so thanks for joining us on what I hope is a adventure that keeps us alive. It definitely will be, but like as we learn, we're hoping that y'all are learning as well. All right, well. All right, thank you. Take care.